If you ask anyone what they know about Calvin Coolidge, they might tell you that he spent most of his presidency sleeping. He's rumored to have slept 11 hours a day. Coolidge may have had a healthy sleeping routine, but it didn't stop him from success. His constituents elected him over and over to multiple offices at the local, state, and federal level. And yet, he never bought into the idea that government was the solution. In fact, he spent his career in government fighting against it to limit its reach into people's lives. As governor of Massachusetts, he took a stand against public sector unions when the Boston police tried to unionize and went on strike. When warned that his stand might end his career, he responded, it is not necessary for me to hold another office. And as president, he waged an all-out war on the national debt. When Coolidge took office, the debt stood at $22 billion. Coolidge and his budget director went line by line and cut out as much fat as possible, even for White House operations. By the time he left office, the debt had fallen to about $16 billion, a 28% reduction. Imagine that, a president who actually cuts federal spending. With our national debt at over $31 trillion, we could benefit from another sleepy president.